to any group. I'm kind of tired of going to meetings, but um, I'm not really here to ask you to annex it. I, I, I don't want it. I don't want to be involved with that, okay? That's you guys, okay? But what I am doing, and well, I, when I hooked on to the uh, city sewer recently, we had to because our sewer, or our uh, septic. septic, yeah, the septic went bad and we weren't allowed legally to fix it or it would have cost more money, you know, but just better just to hook on the city. So that's what we did. And we moved our car lot. It used to be across the field. Um, has everybody got a good picture in their mind of where I'm talking about? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry I don't have any pictures because I've been under the weather and I haven't done, felt like doing anything today. <laughs> so anyway, um, across the field, from where the shop is, is where we got our car lot, and we moved it back behind the garage. Well, we have enough room there to operate, it's just a little bit congested, so we just wanted to move, we wanted to add another acre. I don't I don't own another acre yet, because I, I want to, and I even said, you know, a half acre would probably do, but, you know, I can buy an acre cheaper, you know, per acre, probably, per half acre, probably, whatever. Um, so that's what we're doing, and there's nothing really, I mean, it's been brought up by the fire chief about, you know, the groundwater, when they get a lot of rain, tends to flood out there. Not really flood, but I mean, you know, have some spots out there. It hasn't really been that bad this year. Um, one of the other issues was a neighbor back clear across the field from us. I don't see how it's going to affect her. She's worried about all the lights and everything. I'm not going to be putting no big lights out or anything like that. Um, we're still, you know, small business, you know, trying to... We've been in business since 07 on the car lot, so um, it's, it's done real well. Since we moved it back behind the garage, we've increased our business by about 50%. And we did have some uh, people's, you know, reporting, you know, and it looks like a junkyard or, or some junk cars sitting around. We've got that improved where it doesn't look like it's a junkyard anymore. So, um, you know, I certainly appreciate having it look nice because we're right in the, in the middle of the city, even though we're in the county. So, um, Add to that. I just uh, uh, kind of had good luck going through the first time when we zoned it. So we're zoned D three now for the garage and the car lot behind it. So we're we're legal as we stand. I just need a little bit more room to. Uh, we we were just going to extend down along the fence, uh, and it's a little bit higher there as well. So I don't feel there's going to be too much problem with water standing. Eventually, we will be paving it as well. So, the see, this went to the county commissioners because, well, originally went to the area planning commission for the county. It was four to three, one abstained, and one guy wasn't there. So, um, so I had to appeal it, so I went to the county commissioners, and they wanted some kind of documentation from the city of if there are any issues. Well, I've really never come up with any issues that weren't, that were insurmountable. So I, I, I can say this is a fifth meeting I've been to, so, you know, I'd love to just be able to address, get down to, you know, where the rubber meets the road here and, and see what we can do. Because I feel like I ought to, I should, you know, we should be able to get things done. Yeah. Now, as far as this annexation thing, I mean, I'll be right up front with you. You know, I don't want to pay more taxes any more than you do. Um, I don't know what all is entailed with that as far as, 
you know, um, you know, this annexation. I cannot uh, uh, contest annexation. Um, so I, I mean, I signed an agreement to that thing. So I don't know how much tax it would be if you know was in the city. How much tax difference that, that would be for being a, for a small business? We, you know. Uh, every little bit helps, you know. But, um, but just your thoughts, and uh, I'd like to be able to take that back to the the APC. They, the commissioner sent it back to the APC for the, for the county. So I think they wanted me to come here too. But I did already came to the air, uh, the uh, city council meeting. Okay, I really did. I come up empty-handed there too. Um, I think what they, they really need is something, okay, do you have any issues with it, okay? If the city doesn't have any issues, then neither should they. And, and what exactly are you trying to get done, Richard, just get it all rezoned? We just want to get a little bit more property rezoned in addition behind our garage where we are. We'll be along the fence. We'll have good visibility from the road. And we look to really make that you know, a nice car lot eventually. And that area is in the county, right? And you're in the county too, right? Yes. And do you own the extra acreage back there that you're? I do. I do not. I have. I. I don't yet have the written agreement with Larry Coy. Larry Coy is the one who sold me the property that I now own. Um, so I don't have that at hand, but. He's already signed off on the zoning and everything to get it rezoned. So. With who? The county? Yeah. yeah. They just want to know that we're not going to object because it's really close to the city. So is they, yeah. I thought part of it was part of it in the city. No, no it's all the county. No. Um, I, I have. Yes, question. Yeah. If I could ask, how many, you said you were going to pay the how much of that area would you pay? Well, we eventually we'll pay it all. And when you pay that area, are you anticipating to do anything with the runoff water? Well, that see, that's the one thing that really holds us back on. See, when we, we had a fire, you, know, you probably know, December 7th, of, Oh, seven don't seem like that long ago now. But I at that time I had I spent twenty six hundred dollars. I went to the uh, gentleman, I can't remember the, the name of him, that got a Shelbyville and they do a lot of uh, planning for layout the ground and stuff. They they do more than surveying in other words. So they laid out my whole building blueprint and everything. They they give me an idea of what I would do once we did pave it, because we would really have to do that right and get, and so we already know what we'd have to do. I we'll have to go hire them at Shelbyville. Uh, well, not necessarily them, but you know, and they'll show us where and how to put the drain system and everything. Um, now there is a little problem in that corner over there, so um, I know that that's been brought up by. Mr. Coy in the past and kind of a state thing. I don't know. It's hard to get the state to do it. You know, but, uh, but I guess the question this evening is um, you, I mean, we obviously can't do anything about county zoning one way or the other. Right, right. Um, the question would be whether or not it would make sense to annex you into the city, I guess. Um, he signed a waiver for utilities. Uh, any thoughts on that? Anybody? Heard. Yeah, yeah. I've been to all five meetings as well. <laughs> I've and, been to two or three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and really, what the BZA, County BZA's concern was, and the commissioners, was what do we intend on doing with it? Are we going to annex it? Well, yeah, we will eventually annex it. How soon? I don't know. That's up to the council. But. Uh, the water situation, you know, I've lived in that area for 50 years. It's not his, pro his property that creates the water problem. Uh, 